Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamia Lee and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I put flexi rod on my 4C hair. My hair is stretched, but as you can see, what I'm starting off with is my hair mist by um, Care Hair Crack. And I will put the link to this below, but I always use this on my hair and it's lovely. So I'm just going to section my hair off and comb it out will detangle it really because like i said i did blow dry it straight a couple days ago because i had like a little bun or whatever but um yeah so i'm using these red flexi rods it's like five or six of them i'm not sure these are the products that i'm using and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all because I don't, you know, I'm just going to let y'all know. So this hairstyle did not come out the way I wanted it to come out because I feel like I should have used like smaller rollers, but the method that I used to install the flexi rods, I feel like, you know, like it was a pretty good method. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I did good with the detangling and everything, but, um, I just should have used a little smaller roll, um, rollers or just more rollers. So what I did first was, as you can see, I bend the roller and then I'm going to use one side of the roller to wrap my hair around it like this. And you always want to make sure you moisturize your ends because, girl, if they get dry, they get just get to looking crazy, okay? So you just want to make sure that they're moisturized as well as your scalp because if your scalp is moisturized, your hair is going to grow. So if you have like 4C hair like mine or just if you want to do this style in general, I just recommend that you use smaller rollers and smaller sections because like it came out cute but it just wasn't what I was looking for. It was like a chunky um, flexi rod set but I mean it was really cute or whatever. All right, so this is kind of a better view of what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm just wrapping one section on one side of the roller and then the other section on the other side of the roller, just like this, trying to make sure that I wrap it as tight as possible so that it will be defined. So once I got done, this is how it looks. And what I did was just throw my scarf on it and I also throw my bonnet on it. I don't know why I use a scarf and a bonnet, y'all. I don't know. But I do. And then the next day, it's time to take it down after I did my makeup and my lashes, y'all. And I will post a video on how I did my individual lashes. But, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started and take these curls down. All right, so um, as you can see, it does have a little curl to it, y'all. But what got me was like, when I took these flexi rods out, y'all, they were, like my hair was soft and I put mousse on it because I wanted it to be hard. You know what I'm saying? I wanted my hair to hold a little bit more, but y'all, they were really soft. So next time I may use some gel because this time I only use like, curling um cream and then some mousse but whatevs so as you can see it looks cute it looks really really cute now the curls are really um spirally and i like it it's kind of giving me like a wavy vibe but yeah All 
Alright, so when I'm taking them apart, y'all, I'm just trying to um, separate them so that they're not so frizzy. But, I mean, it really didn't, I don't know, it really didn't work for me. I feel like I should have used maybe a different styling product as well. But, all in all, like, I feel like... It's enough information, you know, to kind of get the visual of kind of what I did. But after I, what is it called? After I took the twist down, I just went ahead and fluffed my root. And I was planning on doing like a puff with it, like a high puff. And that would have been so cute, y'all. But my hair was slipping. Like, I guess it was too soft. And the headband that I was using, it just did not want to stay in the high puff. Like, it just kept sliding off. For some reason. And y'all about to see now. It's just going. Mm -mm -mm. See this is how I wanted it. You see cute little high puff. But it just kept rolling up. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So I finally got it to going. I had to use another band. But um, this is how it looks. And I just go in with the edge booster. To do my edges. Because girl you always want your edges to look nice and cute. You know what I'm saying. All right, so this is the finished look of how it looks. It's really not a bad um, style. I feel like I made it work. I just wanted my curls to be way more definer, but it's, it's cool. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I really appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.